Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be going over step-by-step -step how to download Spotify onto your computer. Before I begin, give this video a like, comment down below if this has helped you at all, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. So, like I said, today's video is, all, is going to be about how to install Spotify, how to create a free account on Spotify, how to download Spotify, and how to listen um, on the Spotify application. So let's just begin. I want you to hop into a web browser. Any web browser will do. I'm going to hop into Chrome here. And I want you to Google search for Spotify. And click on the first one. You could also go to Spotify.com. Um, I'm just going by just another solution, another way around it. So you can do Spotify.com or you can Google search for Spotify. I want you to click on the first link, which is spotify.com. Then from here, you want to click on get Spotify free. Now Spotify has two accounts. They have a paid account and they have a free account. The paid account is for people who want to pay, I think it's like $10 a month or $8 a month or whatever it is. Uh, and it gets rid of the ads that are played during after each song. The free account is you can still play music, listen to music, but after so many songs, they do throw ads at you. So if you're a person who doesn't like or doesn't mind the ads, rather, free account is for you. If you want to pay for it and get rid of the ads and just keep playing music all day, every day, um, and definitely the pay subscription one would be best. So I'm going to show you how to make a free account. You're going to click on Get Spotify Free. From here, you can either sign up with Facebook or with an email. I'm going to go the email route. Okay, confirm your email, type it in again, make a password. What should we call you? You can put your first name, you can put your last name, you can put a nickname, whatever you want. Put your birth date in. You can choose male, female, or non-binary. Non male. You can share your registration data with Spotify's content providers for marketing purposes. I'm going to leave that unchecked. You can do whatever you want and then just click I'm not a robot. Click on sign up. All right, so once you do that, once you first sign up, it's going to want to install Spotify on your desktop. So if you're in Chrome, you're going to see the download down here. If you're in another web browser, you may see it up here somewhere. Most of the time it is down here, so click that. It's the exe file, which is going to run through the Spotify install, which is pretty simple. We're just going to blow through it here. Installing Spotify. Okay, so then you're going to want to log in with the account that you just created. Log in. Uh, Windows Defender Firewall has blocked some of these features. I'm on a work computer, so yours may not say that. I'm just going to hit cancel. You probably won't get that window. If you do, let me know. Um, there's ways around it. So yeah, so right now, that's pretty much it. I mean, you've created a Spotify account, you installed it, and now you can go through and search for songs um, right here. You can upgrade your account for the, to the premium version, they call it, the paid version, I like to say. Um, if you click that, it'll take you to the, the web browser page, and it'll show you the plans. If you click on View Plans, it'll show you which one best fits your needs. They have the $10 a month, they have a family for $15 a month, and they have a fewer student, it's $5 a month, which is a good deal. And it just shows what's all included. And a lot of this, pretty much the same as the Listen to Music ad free, which a lot of people like so jump back into Spotify here so yeah so this is the Spotify program you have all your library on your left hand side and once you start listening to songs or playlists Spotify is going to kind of memorize what you're listening to if it's country if it's rock if it's rap if it's hip-hop if it's pop it's going to kind of put everything together and recommend things that that fits your music needs so 
I'm just gonna come up here, <coughs> excuse me, and I'm gonna type in country. And I'm just gonna click on a playlist. I'm gonna hit play. Yeah. So it's gonna play the music and I can skip tracks right here at the bottom. And then I'll just go through. Now eventually, it will say slow down, like you have only have so many skips. But yeah, so that's how you install Spotify. Now, I've shown you how to install it and download it, but I don't know if you know this, but you can actually play Spotify through your web browser. You don't technically have to download it unless you wanted to. So I'm gonna close out of here, go back into Chrome, and I'm gonna go back to Spotify. So Spotify, Spotify.com, okay. So, do, 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 where are we at here? If you go to Spotify.com and scroll all the way down, all the way, click on Web Player right here. Basically, this is the same thing that you were just shown, but without installing it. So now you can play this music through your web browser and you don't have to install any um, Spotify software if you don't want to. So I'll just click on another playlist. And now it's click play. Yeah, so there it is. That's how you run Spotify through your web browser and how to install it. So as I hope, hopefully this video helps. I know it was something so simple, but I just want to make sure everyone knows how to get to Spotify, how to play their music, um, and through times like this when they're quarantined in their own house. So that's it. Get to Spotify, guys. Like this video. Subscribe, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next.